Uh, Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of This Is Our Lives. Okay, I want to show you what's in this envelope. I actually don't want to show you the front because it has addresses on it. But, our daughter put rose petals in there, and I opened it up, and, you know, she wrote on the back that these were from her garden. I'm glad you have a garden, by the way. Um, but I didn't realize they were going to just all fall out, so that's why I'm not showing the picture. But I will say that you are an excellent artist. Um, it's, it's a really nice picture. Uh, Mommy hasn't seen it yet, but um, she's still getting up and getting things going. Getting the glucometer and stabbing her finger and so making holes in her fingers. So, and yeah, it got a little wet. I, I dropped everything on the way in. But, um, like I said, I would show the picture, but I don't want the rose petals just to go everywhere. So, that's why you're not getting to see the picture. Um, and this... This came in, Twice Told Tales by Nathaniel Hawthorne. It's a used book that I ordered from Amazon. I One thing about doing my blood sugars at home, I don't have to scan every damn thing. Oh, yeah. Well, the nurse had to scan her badge, and she had to scan the test box, test scan test her, and she had to scan my uh, uh -huh. bracelet. <laughs> then she sticks the thing in the the tester in the machine. Then she has to stab me in the finger, and then it's like, okay, for God's sake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for some reason, up there in the hospital, my fingers were very stingy with the blood. Oh, that's not good. Well, maybe it's because I ha mine that I have has an adjustable depth of 0.5 to 5.5. Oh. So you can go very shallow or very deep. Deep, And I think there's where it's going very shallow is what the problem is. Yes, I'm sitting like mine on 1.5 right now. So we'll see how it bleeds like that. So, uh... And I use the Accutech multi-clicks, and it hurts less than the ones I use. I wish they would start using the ones that I use. If you all didn't hear that, it's the... what? What is it? Ac Accutech multi-clicks. I barely felt the stab. Accutech okay. multi... Accutech uh, multi-clicks. And you don't have to have the red container to throw everything away in, because... The sharps container. Yeah. It's yeah, unless in you a barrel, you don't even touch, see the point of the oh, okay. thing. Well, see, that's good. Uh, that's one less thing you have to buy. Well, some people say use just a empty gallon milk jug or something, you know, oh. like that. <coughs> Somebody's calling. Um, um. So yeah, we didn't. We got up not too long ago, and then we were. 226. But I haven't. Oh, had sweetie. Any. I haven't had any medicine either. Um. So. I haven't eaten anything. So. Your body can jack up the amount of sugar in it to make you wake up. So um. And it will do that. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. um. Yeah. I'm still um, waking up people. Um. You can kind of see my wife. You can kind of see like there she is right there. Yeah. There. I'm over here. Got oh wrong way. There you Hi. Go. Um. What? Guess what I have in the morning. What? An eye doctor's appointment. Oh boy. We're gonna put you to bed about eight o'clock in the morning to get you out of bed. Yeah. Like eight o'clock at night. And what time is it? 10.30? Uh, I think 9.45. 9.45. Oh, gosh. Yeah. We only call and reschedule it. If they'll do it later in the day. I don't want to reschedule for another day, though. I just They probably won't do it on the same day. Unless they can do it later today. It's tomorrow, honey. I know, but if they can do reschedule Almost. for today. I'm trying to listen to voicemails. Um... She's listening to voicemails. I gotta go fix us something to snack on, so. Uh, bye, everybody. Oh, it's over a foot long. So, um. 
See so what I'm trying to do, I'm going to try to be quiet so she can listen to voicemails. What I'm trying to do is, is get books, classic books if you will, by authors from Funny. New Kerry, authors from New Ireland. New Ireland is form was formerly known as New England. New Kerry was formerly in New Hampshire. I want to get books by authors from this area and read them and try to get a sense of place. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why Nathaniel Hawthorne, um, oh, Cooper, Fillmore Cooper, James Fillmore Cooper, we have the uh, leather stockings set. Well, we have all, all four books, but it's not actually, you know, they're from different publishers and things, but we have all the books, so that's uh, fine. Um, but, um, James Fenimore Cooper. That was his name. Like, the Deer Slayer, um, the Prairie. Oh, they made a movie about one of his books. The Last of the Mohicans. You know, Hawkeye from MASH. That's where you get Hawkeye from because uh, it's from that one of those books. But um, anyway, so you know that that picture that our daughter sent is actually nice enough to be framed. So I don't know if we're going to do that or not. Um, we can't do it right. Well, actually, I don't know. We may or may okay, not. Okay, you can talk loud. Okay, thank you. We may or may not have a frame somewhere in here because you know we go to the it's 10 a.m. here in Portland. Okay, we go to the dollar store and sometimes we'll buy an extra this or an extra that. You have to be careful because sometimes you can go to Walmart and get things cheaper. You know, it may only be five or ten cents cheaper, or two cents. Yeah, <laughs> but you know that adds up. You know, um, and somebody's out trying to mow the grass. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. And it's going to rain again today. We're it's actually in a, yeah, we're in a flood watch or warning. Flood watch, I think. Flood watch till what? well for the town river to get to the actual town would take a <laughs> yeah. hell of a lot of rain. Yeah, and I'd say like feet. Yeah. Like and five or six feet of rain. Yeah. Not inches. And the I think they can adjust the dam to let more water out. Well, you know, the river runs away f is lower than the rest of the buildings in town, and it mm. is. It would take it a lot to climb up the mount the hills that are kind of entrapping it. Yeah. So uh, I don't know who it is. It's trying to cut grass but this is not the day to do it <laughs> you have to wait till it dries out but they don't do that up here up here they actually you'll actually see them out there cutting grass when it's wet even in the rain because it rains so much up here you know back in Texas it was like well, rain once a year yeah you know so you you didn't have to worry about it um, I mean it's not like I haven't cut grass when it's wet but it doesn't work very well yeah you know, and you get places that are tall, places that are short. Just, More drowns out. Yeah, you know, so it's, it's all like, stuck up. And yeah, so um, well, our neighbor over here, he uh, he mowed his yard yesterday. I think he has one of those riding lawnmowers. And our landlord said he was going to come out a few days ago and yeah. cut grass, but. You probably got the idea that well, that was not very good. Yeah, because it was wet. I don't see how he could have done it. Um, so I can understand him not coming out and doing that. But, um, you know, another thing I was thinking of, you know, I've said I, I'd like us to have a, a little party. But, you know, we could also just have a party. It doesn't have to be a little's party. No, lucky. I'm not giving you licorice. Yeah. <laughs> that way. I don't think you'd like it anyway. Yeah, probably not. 
um, is if we had a, just a, a party, um, we could, it would be more inclusive. We could invite littles and non-littles alike. You know, we can get stuff like this from Market Basket. This is a grocery store up here. Um, this is what I'd like to treat people to. Is lobster rolls. A lobster roll each. That's not what they call it on here, but it's a See that finger rolls? They also have lobster rolls. Lobster rolls are like a big deal up here. Depending on where you go, you can actually get them pretty cheap. Um, actually, you can get lobster pretty cheap here, which is kind of nice. Um, lobster rolls are really good, but it, it's mixed lobster meat. It's tail meat, claw meat. You know, it's not just tail meat. And I used to dislike claw meat. But now we, my wife went down to this place down the road here and bought us a lobster. And I ate some uh, claw meat and it was actually good. So maybe because it was fresh, I don't, I don't know. But um... He's like a little independent fisherman or something. Hmm. I don't know if he actually does the fishing or not. If he doesn't, he probably buys it directly from the... He may contract with somebody too. Yeah. Um, it was like in Spain, you know, uh, we didn't eat fresh meat be because it had bugs in it. I mean, how else can I say that? So when we we ate, we did eat fresh fish, but my dad would go down and buy it from the fishermen as they came in. Um. You know, I mean, you could eat fresh meat in Spain if you would have gone to, like, the the farm or the ranch and, and bought it right after it was killed. But you didn't buy it from market because, you know, there's no it air... It wasn't air Yeah, it wasn't. No air conditioning, no freeze, freezers, no ice. And it'd be bugs and maggots and everything. So you just didn't... That's not good. No, you just didn't do that. Um... But anyway, so uh, I just wanted to make this video mainly for our daughter and about our daughter because she sent us this picture which I want to show you, but I don't want the petals to go all over the place. So, and I used a um, I used this. I don't know if it is it was a breathe right, a breathe right strip on my nose last night. I don't know if you snored or not. I don't. The way I slept, I didn't know. Yeah, so it's possible that it actually helped me not not to snore. It'd be nice if it did. If it did, it's worth the money. <laughs> because somebody leaves a chainsaw running at night. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I wish my wife could get a good night's sleep, and I think part of it is because I snore. That's why she can't get a good night's sleep sometimes. Um. So, but wifey has a catch on the shoulder right now. I don't know what exactly could, that start in it. It's not comfortable. Could have been the bed in the hospital too. Yeah, but I'm out of the hospital now. Yeah, but it may take a few days. Yeah, I think they make them out of concrete blocks or something. Yeah. The way they feel. So I'm gonna go do something so we can have something to eat and <laughs> kind of wake up. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, what I was saying, yeah, we have a, a party and have it more inclusive. And get some of these things, you know, like they have a big sandwich, they have a sushi platter. And, you know, I mean, I could actually read this stuff to you if I had glasses, but I have a glasses appointment tomorrow. Or an eye doctor's appointment, you know, they have all this stuff. Get everybody a lobster roll. And this place down the street that sells bologna sandwiches and grilled cheese sandwiches, their lobster rolls are like twelve, thirteen dollars. So you don't want to buy it from them. Well, you could do it um, Subway too, because they do party platters. Oh yeah, okay. So that way, you know, it'd be more inclusive. We could have more people, and and that that way also for those that aren't sure if they're littles or are apprehensive about it, 
they don't have to go in that direction if they don't feel comfortable doing so. And then for the non-littles, they can also enjoy themselves. Thing is, we really need to spend more money on ourselves, and I need to spend more time with my wife. Well, we need more money to spend, too. Oh. Because my medicine is... <laughs> wow, wow, wow. It's a hundred, just one medicine is going to be over a hundred dollars. Well over a hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, we have prices of, so far, this is for the brand name of it, 149.49, it's at 172.44. One pharmacy doesn't even carry it, and another one says 140. That's... I haven't called Target, so I don't know what they, they were on their lunch hour. So... Anyway, I mean, it's nice doing things for people, and, you know, we like helping people out. It's just... But hopefully I can get, actually get convinced the state of New Hampshire that I do desperately need Medicaid. You know, well, when we go in tomorrow... Well, we'll I mean, now we'll I have a confirmed diagnosis. No. Um, so, I guess I should end this, because I'm just kind of babbling on... Um, I need to fix this something to eat. So, bye-bye, everybody. Have a good day. Yeah, you